I am at uh, Dachau concentration camp here in uh, Germany. It's about a uh, 45 minute uh, train ride from, uh, from Munich. And I'm here to learn the, uh, the dark history and the horrible crimes that were uh, committed on this site. And I heard about this place uh, back when I was in high school decades ago. And today I got the opportunity to, to visit this. I just uh, got off the bus uh, here to visit the concentration camp and the bus uh, stop uh, is called uh, KZ there you go you can see it uh, for yourself over here and uh, and this is the uh, entrance to the uh, to the uh, memorial site the camp memorial site and uh, to get to uh, this uh, location you will have to take a train if you're coming from munich you will take a train s2 it's called s2 line s2 and um, and that train will take you to uh, uh to uh, dachau uh, you get up at dachau uh, station and then from dachau station you uh you take a bus um probably like five minutes uh, bus ride and uh, you get off the bus at this location and then uh, you find your way to the uh, to the uh, customer service, uh, the visitor center, I should say. You see, this is the uh, this is the visitor center. There is some kind of cons uh, constructions going on. It's a little bit uh, noisy here. And here is the where you can uh, uh, rent uh, an audio guide. And also, there is a guided tour that I am uh, trying to join. Uh, in a in a bit, and here is the uh, here is the uh, visitor center. Here is the visitor center where you can uh, ask if you have any questions. You can ask here. You can rent the audio guide. And uh, let me give you a a quick tour of what this uh, place is like. This is the. Uh, this is the cafeteria, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a cafeteria, and here is a public uh, public restroom, uh, just off to the right, over here. Uh, this is just if you want to get some uh, coffee or something light to eat before uh, before you start exploring the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the concentration camp. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I will uh, get uh, a ticket for uh, for a guided tour. I'm gonna get a ticket for the guided tour, and the lady explained to me. She said, uh, she said I have to uh, wait uh, after I get the ticket. I have to wait uh, here outside, wait until uh, 11 a.m. That's where the uh, the guided tour will uh, will start and what I am trying to do is to uh, join that tour and the tour will take uh, about two hours I will join that tour just to learn the basic facts and to see what the what the uh, what they're gonna say what they're gonna teach us and then after two hours um, after the tour I will do my uh, walk and talk uh, video around the campus i may not film the guided tour but probably i will start filming when i uh, when i finish the guided tour and i do i explore the uh, the camp on my own on foot so stick with me in this video uh, we will learn some uh, some uh, some facts about this uh, uh, dark uh, history see i was waiting here for about 10 minutes and then uh, the guided tour just started and I'm gonna follow them. It goes uh, this way, and that uh, guided tour is in uh, English. And there is another one for German, if I'm not mistaken. But I picked the English uh, tour um, in English language, and uh, and this probably will take uh, uh, like uh, about two hours. It's really very really long, so I'm not gonna be able to film the whole thing though. 
they are walking now toward the uh, entrance and there is a checkpoint here where you uh, show them the ticket, the, uh, the guided tour ticket and uh, to be quite honest with you, the guided tour is really really good the introduction, uh, you already, uh, you already uh, uh, explained the uh, basic facts and now uh, we're gonna get in but I, uh, I cannot film the whole uh, guided tour so uh, yeah, the uh, introduction is really really good uh, and uh, what basically happens is that uh, every uh, five minutes uh, we walk and then she stops and she starts talking and uh, and uh, I learned a lot of things too, to be quite honest with you and now it's already uh, 20 minutes into the uh, guided tour and now we're uh, we're headed uh, to the uh, to the main entrance uh, where uh, where the main uh, building is located The, uh, the guided tour just uh, finished and uh, just finished uh, five minutes ago and it took about three hours and we started from all the way uh, from that uh, entrance that I showed you earlier from the visitor center and uh, we walked through this uh, this uh, gate this is the main building that's where the uh, you enter the uh, the camp as you can see uh, this uh, gate up ahead this is not actually the original gate, uh, this is a replica gate. The original one, I was told that it was uh, stolen in 2014. Uh, it was stolen in 2014 and, uh, and then they actually found the, they actually found the gate, uh, this one. They actually found it and they, they uh, I think they put it in the, uh, in the museum. And here I am now entering the uh, the big uh, uh, square just up ahead. This is really, really. Uh, uh, I mean, it's really depressing to be quite honest with you. Just when you enter the uh, the the camp, you will see this uh, big, uh, huge area, and it's called the uh, roll call ground. So the prisoners uh, had to assemble on the roll call ground every morning and evening for roll call in all weather conditions. They were actually forced to stand uh, for an hour and they, uh, they uh, were counted and if, if, every, if any person is uh, missing, uh, they were forced to, to keep standing here until they find the missing person and they do that so that they uh, so nobody is uh, nobody is in, encouraged to uh, to to uh, to make any attempt to escape see the big uh, the big building that you see here is the uh, is the museum now but but it was actually the maintenance uh, the maintenance building it was actually built by the prisoners themselves in uh, 1937 through 1938 it served uh, the needs of the prisoners camp and contained a kitchen clothing supply room bath laundry and uh, and workshops and now it's the uh, and now it's the museum and I'm gonna I'm gonna just walk through uh, the museum, walk inside the museum and uh, there's a lot of stuff to read to be quite honest with you. It's gonna take you uh, probably three hours if you want to uh, to learn. And this is the main exhibition and in the, uh, in the former maintenance uh, building. So uh, it's kind of crowded uh, inside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna walk inside and give you uh, an idea, a good sense of, uh, of what the, uh, the museum is like so that when you come here next time, you prepare. This is a bookshop over here, you see. 
then they started transferring um, prisoners, um, the so called criminals. Another guided um, tour. But I don't think all the, all the tours are. Um, some of the tours are uh, offered by a third party. And here is uh, a lot of stuff to read. You know, uh, you can also uh, rent uh, uh, a gu uh, an audio guide. I'm not sure how much the audio guide uh, uh, cost. The guided tour I bought, I bought it for three euros, only three euros, to, or some about three Euro or four euros. I don't remember. And uh, and you see, as I, as I say, there's a lot of stuff to read. You know, if you have time, you have if you have time, you can easily uh, spend. Uh, Four hours easily, you know. <laughs> That's why I uh, recommend you uh, you get the guided tour from the visitor center, just to uh, they give you the summary, you know, the the main uh, the main uh, the main facts that you need to uh, to know, and then. Uh, you can wander around, like walk and uh, explore more, like what I am doing right now. I would imagine if you stop here and you read every single thing, that will take almost the whole day. This is the uh, this is the first uh, this is the picture of the first prisoner uh, that. Uh, arrived at uh, this uh, concentration camp. He was a political uh, prisoner. Uh, yes, you can uh, watch short videos documentary uh, uh, movies videos let's go out to the uh, let's go out to go to the barracks uh, area It's really huge uh, museum. So you can basically go inside uh, the museum all you can walk through all the buildings inside and uh, and you're gonna spend probably uh, three to four hours if you want to read uh, everything that is uh, on the wall a lot of stuff to uh, to read and now I am uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna walk through the uh, through the barracks up uh, up ahead over there and uh, all those barracks uh, were uh, demolished uh, just right after uh, the American troops liberated the uh, uh, the camp in 1945 and uh, what you see right now those are uh, two barracks so on the left and the right they, they are a replica they're not the uh, they're not the, the original one 
and um, I'm gonna walk inside the uh, inside that uh, barracks just to uh, just to give you uh, just to give you uh, uh, a feel for what uh, for what uh, was going on uh, back then. Here all these uh, beds where the prisoners used to sleep. It's really, really depressing place. Like I said before. Uh, Yeah, can you imagine like uh, this small bed um, up to six people sleep in this small bed and you can imagine uh, six people on top of each other uh, it's, it's really really horrible it was a horrible situation These are the lockers where uh, where the prisoners uh, uh, kept their uh, belongings. You know, the camp was actually uh, the, when it when it first opened. When it was open, it was uh, it was meant for the uh, political uh, prisoners, but. Uh, and then later, later, they was used uh, for uh, for the Jewish uh, prisoners. And here is the uh, here is the toilets. Uh, the way uh, all the way up uh, to the uh, to the uh, crematorium and the gas uh, chamber all the way up this really huge uh, you're gonna be uh, walking a lot if you visit this uh, this place in the in the future what you see now is uh, what they call it the camp road so it's uh, is dividing the barracks uh, area the one on the left the barracks area on the left and on the right you see all these barracks these are actually the foundations only because the uh, they demolished uh, all the barracks were demolished uh, the American troops demolished them because uh, they were infested I think uh, with lice or something like that So now I am on my way to the uh, to the crematorium, uh, to the old crematorium, and uh, just out, off to the left you see this uh, tower. That's where the guards uh, used to uh, to uh, to be on that uh, uh, tower to uh, to look for any uh, prisoner who uh, who is trying to uh, to escape. And only one prisoner managed to uh, escape uh, this uh, concentration camp successfully. And all other attempts uh, failed. And so many uh, got shot uh, during their uh, uh, attempt.
you look good as a bitch here. And you look at the uh, you look at the wired uh, fence over here. You can capture uh, a photo here, and you see the tower up ahead. And if you just uh, keep uh, keep walking, and this is the uh, this is the uh, the area where uh, where the the gas uh, chamber is, and it's called the uh, former crematorium crematorium uh, area. And uh, and I'm just gonna show you. This is the uh, the old uh, crematorium over here. This uh, crematorium was built in the summer of 1940 after uh, after the foreign prisoners arrived and the uh, mortality rate uh, greatly increased. A year later, it was already working beyond capacity, and uh, this uh, crematorium was in operation until about uh, April 1943. During this period, approximately 11,000 prisoners were uh, cremated uh, here. So now I'm gonna go to the uh, to the new uh, crematorium and the uh, gas uh, chamber and also the uh, the uh, disinfecting uh, room. This was used for uh, the uh, this chamber were used to disinfect clothing with uh, yeah clothing with acid poison uh, gas. There was uh, a ventilator uh, to uh, to ventilate the uh, chamber afterwards. This is the waiting room. This is where uh, the victims were to be informed on using the uh, supposed showers. They told the, the victims that uh, they're waiting for shower, but uh, that was uh, they lied to them. Uh, they were they were they was actually waiting for uh, for the uh, for the gas uh, chamber to enter the gas chamber uh, room and. This is this room is to uh, where uh, the victims were to leave their clothes before entering the uh, the gas uh, chamber, and then uh, their clothing was to be brought to the disinfecting chambers before the next group could enter the room. And this is the uh, this is the gas chamber. See, they told the victims that. Uh, 
that this room was actually uh, a shower, but uh, that was a lie. This is actually uh, this is a gas chamber, but they did not know. Horrible, horrible crime uh, occurred here. Really horrible crime. It's a really depressing place. But I'm here to to, to learn the uh, the dark history, you know. And this is the uh, this room. It's called Death Chamber One. This is where uh, the dead uh, were to be brought before they were cremated. So they died in the gas chamber over there, that room, and then. Uh, they were brought here before they were cremated, cremated, and the uh, this is the uh, the crematorium room. It's also, it's called the execution site. Most uh, hangings were carried, uh, were carried out here. Bef uh, were carried out here. The victims were hanged directly in front of the, uh, of the burning ovens. And then the last the room, the last section of this building, let's see. It's, this one is called the uh, Death Chamber 2. This room was used to store the corpses that were brought from the prisoner camp to be, uh, to be cremated. I would imagine I would, I would, uh, I would get a lot of uh, thumbs uh, down on on this video and uh, now uh, now I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go back to the main uh, to the big area the big open area where uh, where the barracks uh, the barracks are located and by the way this is uh, there is a statue over here, just uh, just right outside the uh, the crematorium over there. And I think I think this uh, statue you see the gentleman is uh, looking up, looking up, and uh, he looks like he's proud of himself. And uh, and the prisoners uh, they were not supposed to look up; they were supposed to. Uh, to look down all the time so I think uh, I think they have this uh, statues to 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 honor all the uh, all the victims so if you are uh, if you are really uh, into uh, learning the the history I highly recommend when you when you visit uh, this site uh, go to the visitor center uh, and um, and uh, buy the guided tour for three euros um, they, I think they only have it once a day. Um, mine, uh, my, my, my tour started uh, at 11 a.m. and it took about uh, three hours. But I really recommend it if you really want to uh, to learn. And uh, and after that, if you want to explore more, you can uh, you can explore more. This is what I am doing right now because my gadget tour already finished. And, uh, and I really learned uh, the basic facts and I'm sharing I'm sharing it with you now this is the, uh, the Russian Orthodox uh, Chapel you see up ahead over there and the uh, and the initiative for building the uh, memorial chapel was uh, started by the direction of the Russian Orthodox Church in Moscow 
and Germany and the embassy of the Russian Federation. Let's let's go. Uh, let me walk you up and uh, show you. See, it's raining now, and it's kind of tough to film uh, to film uh, in uh, in the rain because the lens gets wet, and I have to wipe the lens. Uh, every five minutes i have to interrupt the uh the filming every five minutes just to wipe the uh, the lens you see you see this uh, russian cha uh, chapel and i'm gonna go to the next uh chapel uh, the other side this way i'm leaving the uh the crematorium uh, area and going uh, toward the uh, the big uh, barracks area and here I just want to show you the, uh, the wired fence right here you see there is a, a, a watchtower uh, th there were actually seven watchtowers to uh, to uh, to stop any uh, escape and actually some uh, some prisoners uh, they try to uh, escape on purpose because they wanted to get shot uh, you know to uh, to end uh, the suffering people uh, some prisoners uh, basically they wanted to commit a suicide because any person who uh, who tries to get close to the to the wire fence immediately gets uh, shot and uh, let's let's go uh, Let's let's see what uh, what this building is. Uh, for some reason, the guided tour did not include uh, did not in include this building. I'm just curious, what is it? Okay, this is the uh, Protestant Church of uh, Reconciliation on the initiative of uh, survivors and uh, supported by the World Council of uh, Churches the uh, German Protestant Church built the uh, this uh, Church of uh, Reconciliation now on to the uh, on to the uh, next building we'll see what that is It's really a long walk to uh, to explore uh, the camp, and, uh, and I I never thought that uh, this visit would take me uh, four hours. The guided tour uh, took almost uh, three hours, and now uh, I am uh, exploring uh, exploring the uh, the buildings that were not covered by the guided tour. You see off to the right, you see all the uh, the open space, uh, you can see all those uh, all those barracks, you only see the foundations now because they were demolished, I think the original uh, barracks uh, at the time were in infested by lice or something like that, so they decided to uh, demolish uh, the barracks. And the one that you saw earlier, the two barracks, uh, those are actually a uh, replica. And, uh, and now I am uh, walking uh, towards uh, this, uh, this building. And it's actually the, uh, it's called the Catholic mortal agony of uh, Christ's uh, uh, chapel the initiative for, for building uh, the Catholic uh, mortal agony of Christ's chapel was started by the former prisoner Johannes
there is one more building uh, over there but it's uh, it looks it looks like it's under construction it's uh, it's closed and uh, that one is actually the uh, Jewish memorial memorial site yeah it's, uh, it's under construction but I'm just curious as to what uh, what it looks like uh, let's see maybe I can get uh, a better uh, look if I get closer no it's closed cannot see anything it's totally closed See, I am now uh, walking toward the museum. I'm gonna spend the better part of an hour uh, inside the museum, but I'm, I'm not gonna film it. I'm just gonna go there and, and do some readings because I need to read more to learn about this uh, uh, dark history. And, uh, and like I said, if you want to visit uh, this uh, site in the future, um, I highly recommend you get the guided tour that the uh, that you can uh, buy from the visitor center when you uh, when you arrive here. And uh, I think it, it starts at 11 o'clock a.m. So get it from uh, directly from the uh, visitor center. Don't get it from a third party. And the lady actually did a pretty good job uh, explaining, and she speaks very good English. And uh, for now, uh, let me let me turn around the camera. Have uh, have a wonderful day and uh, take uh, take good care. See you in other videos. Bye bye for now.